Hi, this is Dorothy from TaiChiBozeman.com slash RawFoodBlog and for FaveDiets.com I'm grating some ginger here in my little uh, grater for some ginger cookies, like ginger snaps like my mom used to make and they melt the house smells so good. Ginger is really good for you, um, especially during allergy and sinus time. Uh, clears your sinuses and so good for your tummy. Ginger just settles your stomach right away. That's why people make ginger ale and everything. So we'll make some raw gluten-free cookies here. We'll put in two and a half cups of sprouted grains. Now you could use, these are oats and sprouted barley and um, amaranth. A little bit of quinoa in there. And, um, but you could just use oats or whatever appeals to you. And then we'll put in the oil, which is coconut oil. Three-fourths cup of coconut oil. Actually, we'll put in my sugar first so I can use the measuring cup. Look at these coconut crystals. These are raw, low glycemic sugar alternative, but they're really sweet like brown sugar. And they taste like brown sugar too. So a cup of coconut crystals, or you could use raw brown sugar, or palm sugar, or honey, and then three fourths cup of coconut oil. tablespoon of flaxseed soaked in water and that's your thickener. It's going to hold it together like an egg. So it's an egg substitute. So this meal is just cholesterol free and so good for your diet. And the ginger cookies will come out like this in the dehydrator. Ginger snaps and they are so good. Mmm. And then a teaspoonful of cinnamon. Teaspoon of cloves. I ground these up already in my grinder and then put them back in. So, a pinch of cloves. And one to two teaspoons of ginger. You could use the powder and, or the fresh, which we just ground up, grated. And then you could use molasses if, you, if you're not trying to be raw. So I'm trying to be raw. I'm using yacon, our organic raw yacon syrup, which is just so good. It's just so much like molasses. Mmm, I just have to smell it. And it tastes so good. So about a fourth cup of that. And then a dash of salt. Grind that up and make it look like a dough, cookie dough. And we'll put it in in our dehydrator. So just pour it into little cookie shapes. And you can make them tiny little crispy cookies if you want. And if you want them to be chewy, it takes about, well, you could eat them right now and it would be a wonderful breakfast cereal. But if you want them um, to be crispy, just totally crispy, it might take up to 48 hours. So enjoy your ginger snaps. They come out so good and they're so good for you. From Dorothy at TaiChiBozeman.com slash RawFoodBlog and from FaveDiets.com. Enjoy your ginger snaps.